It's bantamweight time, and the winner of this fight will go through for a shot at the title in LFC 5. It's Yao Honggang versus Mick Mortimer. So looking at the tail of the tape, Vaughan, it's all pretty even. Yao Honggang spent a lot of his life wrestling. He's only had six mixed martial arts fights. Definitely. Yao Honggang, part of China's, China's, right now China's top MMA team, China top team. Guys, you know the rules. Watch the back of the head, watch the groin shots, okay? Touch gloves, go back to your corner. So Mick Mortimer with a noticeable height advantage there. And in the corner of Mick Mortimer, Steve Compton, his striking coach. He'll be a very important man in this clash with the Chinese fighter. Yeah, sure. Mick maybe has the advantage in the height, but you can just look at the physique. Hong uh, Yao, sorry, definitely seems to look more like a stronger fighter. <laughs> Oh, big kick from a wrestler. Oh, oh my no. God! Oh, big slams out. Yao in trouble. This is exactly what Mortimer said he was going to do. Can he, can he finish him here? Looking to really whack the crap out of Look at the ex Look there. at the expression on Yao's face. He's shocked. <laughs> Mortimer, oh my god. What's he got in those gloves? Check him, please. Look at Yao trying to lock up the footlock. Sizzling striking from the Australian. Can the red hot wrestler come back? Mortimer moving to side control. Man, there's still four minutes left in this round. Yao's been dropped twice. And he's on the bottom. Trying desperately to recover guard. Oh, there's a knee to the head. Taking advantage of the legend's rules. Is that poor defense from Yao Honggang or just great striking from the Aussie? Well, Yao's ya strength is not, not stand up. And, and Mortimer told us he's been working quite hard on his boxing skills. And it, <laughs> he's proved it so far. Yao back to his feet. <laughs> I'm not sure if he wants to stay there, though. Let's see if he can work this Australian out. Because he's walked into a couple of beauties, as they say in Australia. There's the takedown attempt. There's some swipe out for us. But he's got to watch out. He's, he's, he's really, really at risk of having Mortimer take his back here. Three minutes left of this first round. Mike Reed. Oh, he's going for a submission. Oh, both fighters back to their feet, and it's Yao coming out swinging. Exciting stuff here at Legend. There's a. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Chinese wrestling. Wow. <laughs> A big slam from Yao. Now he's on top. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, Yao trying to bulldoze Mortimer into the ground there. That could have been very ugly. Mortimer back to his feet. Big, big left hand from Mortimer. Mortimer fighting from the southpaw stance. And Yao sitting up to the south as well. Look at Yao's mouth. He's just filled with blood. Another big slam. Anytime he gets near Mortimer, it's the same story. Mortimer, a big fan of animals. Spent a lot of time at the Australian Zoo with a guy called Steve Irwin. You might remember him, the crocodile hunter. Yes, I do. Worked there from about 17 years of age, catching snakes at people's houses, feeding Komodo dragons. Oh, oh some big shots Mortimer trying to lock up the armbar, but Yao's too quick. Yao diving past the guard. Now he's in side control. This is where Yao wants to be. And it was at the zoo where he met Dan Higgins and Carl Noak. Boom, big right. knee. There we go. Good stuff. Go into it. A lot of fighters, when they get in this position, 
get excited, start dropping knees, forget to maintain control, and the, and the fighter gets away. The bottom fighter gets away. Let's see if Yao can keep it there. He, this is exactly what he wants to do. Keep, the, keep control, not get excited. And when you're fighting somebody as experienced as this on the ground, it'll be energy sapping stuff, wouldn't it? Oh my God. Just like his teammate, Li Jingyang, he's locked up. A, a, he's locked up a guillotine. Can he finish it? Mortimer's really got to put his hand on his neck. He can finish it. Oh, big knee! Another great fight where the tide has gone back and forth. This is fantastic. 11 seconds now. Mortimer's got to pick up his hands. Both fighters with their hands low, and it's just the first round. Wow, what a great first round. Brilliant stuff from both combatants there. What great athleticism shown from both fighters. Mick the Mortician Mortimer from Australia getting some great strikes in earlier on. Look at this. Boom. Yao comes in and gets dropped by Mortimer. Dropped again, oh my God, all in. And, he, and now, now we hear, we see Yao coming on top here, picking him up and dumping him down. Quickly passing the guard, doing some damage of his own, another big slam. Fantastic round. So a real clash of styles here in this bantamweight playoff. Don't forget, the winner of this clash will go through for a title shot in Legend Fighting Championship 5. You can read more about it on legendfc.com. Go and check it out if you've got the laptop by your side there as you're watching this one. Check it out now, and all the news and views will be coming to you in the next few months as we set up for a title fight in the bantamweight division. Round two starts between Yao Honggang in black sh uh, tights and Mick Mortimer in the shorts with the Aussie flag. We've been fighting for three minutes, but it looks like they've been fighting for three hours. <laughs> so what would Steve Compton, the striking coach for integrated MMA, be saying to Mortimer? Hands up, hands up. Look how low his hands are. Certainly struck well in the opening stanza of the, the fight. Doesn't want to get sucked into the game of Yao, though. Definitely, he's keeping his distance, picking his shots. Yao with his hands dangerously low. You think if he's been dropped twice, he put his hands up. Boom, big punch by Yao. Oh. Catches him right in the kisser. Nice right from Yao, showing he's picked up some boxing skills as well. Yeah. Mortimer pulling out tons of defenses. Yao said he'd hit him with a thousand takedowns. Mortimer saying he's got a thousand and one takedown defenses, and he's doing well this second round to defend the takedowns. Yao's got to close his mouth and raise his hands. He looks like it's a really risky situation for both fighters right now. Now this flood in Brisbane over the last few weeks has caused a bit of a distraction for these fighters. Oh, is doing a great job of defending these takedowns. They're punishing him every time Yao comes in. We've got Dan Higgins in the stable there in Brisbane, who coaches him on the floor. He's been around the block. Now it's Yao in the corner. Get your hands up and box, Nice takedown, nice transition. But Mortimer's no stranger to the ground game. Look, he's always fighting to lock up arm bars when he gets in this guard position. Now he's back to his feet. Have you ever rolled in China during your time in Beijing with some of these uh, exponents of the Chinese wrestling? I think I've rolled with every, every Chinese fighter on the card except for Ar Aragulo. Yao is extremely fast and, and he, he is no, no beginner to the submissions game. He, he's, he's definitely a threat on the ground. Over halfway through this fight. Seen action of plenty so far this evening. Yao, Yao coming, look at 
haymakers from both fighters. Yao going for the takedown. And I'm telling you, Mike, whether you succeed with the takedown or fail, it's exhausting. Seems like there might be a bit of moisture there on the floor. Now it's Yao backing away. Yao wants a break. Every time they get close, now it's Mortimer taking the advantage, bashing Yao, it, stuffing every takedown. Mortimer trying to hunt him down here. Yao backing off, just waiting for a chance for another takedown. Looking to his corner for some advice. Yao looks exhausted now. Mortimer fighting southpaw stance. Look at Mortimer fighting the takedown and he's free. He's really come out in round two. And the takedown defense has been awesome from the Aussie. Uh, definitely you're seeing Mortimer's experience here. Guiding him through the second round. Advice coming thick and fast from the corners. As yeah, looked like he succeeded getting the takedown, and there he goes. Under a minute left of round two. Can Yao take advantage of this horizontal action? A bind and grind here. Last 30 seconds of the round. Yao needs to capitalize with this last 30 seconds and do what he can. Now that he's got his position on the ground, look at Mortimer trying to lock up the armbar. Yao, Yao needs to glue to him, not, not give him a chance to stand up. You know, if Mortimer has an inch, he's going to do it. He's going to stand up and it'll be his world again. 10 seconds to go. Some wily fighting here from the Australian, although... was Mortimer on top to finish the round. Would you be slightly annoyed uh, by Yao constantly looking in the corner for advice? I mean, he's obviously getting it in his ears what he should be doing. As a fighter, why, why would you look constantly in your corner? Well, yeah, it's better to keep your eyes on the opponent, in my opinion. All the eyes on the ring girls. Well, the lovely Ellen from Brazil. It looks like... Uh, I think she's taken a leaf out of your book. You've got a shirt that color as we look at the replays from round two. Good takedown there from Yao. Here's another takedown from Yao. Beautiful takedown. Pops in the half guard. This is so what does Yao have to do to, to win this fight? I mean, obviously it's got to be on the ground for him. Definitely, he's got, he's got to look for submissions. He's got great foot locks if he can if he can get his hands on one of his legs. It's a lot harder to go for submissions now in the third round when everyone's sweaty and slippery. But there's still a, that's that's still his best bet. Yao Honggang, the master, against the mortician Mick Mortimer from Australia. Standing up, it's been all Mortimer. Five minutes of action left in the spout. There we go. Yao takes him to the ground. Takes his back. This is bad for Mortimer if he can get his hooks in. Top position for Yao. Mortimer fighting to recover the guard. There's a knee there for Yao if he takes it. Mortimer back to his feet. No lack of aggression from either fighter here. Oh. Oh. Aggressive work. Oh. Back to the ground they go, but this time Mortimer's on top. When you look at Mortimer, he is really fighting smart, and uh, he's had some experience. Warriors Realm champion back in 2007. Now he's out of the guillotine, on top. Let's see if he can get off some elbows. It's a great opportunity to let off some elbows. When you're in a corner like this, and you get bumped around from the guy on bottom, you have the, the, the corner ropes to protect you from getting pulled over. And now they're going back to the middle. A better, a better chance for Yao to reverse the situation and get the top position. 
been on a real hot streak, Mortimer, since his loss here a year ago. Knees to the ribs. Three in a row, he's won two in the first round. So he struck a rich vein of form, including beating the former Shuto champion from Japan, Masahiro the Jackal Oishi. So as you say, as a fighter, you go away from a loss and you, you work on. Mortimer gets the mount. Let's see what he can do with it. Yao holding on for dear life. It's not really the smartest idea. But he gets the reversal. Now Yao's on top. Great strength from the Chinese fighter. Flipped him like an omelet. And now he's on top. Look, I see Mortimer looking for a triangle here. Working, son, you're up. You're working. Move, Mick. You're the one working, Mick, so look for stuff, Good elbows from Yao. There's an armbar. Uh-oh. There's an armbar. Yao will know all about that. Now he's out. Mortimer back to his feet. Mortimer will be smart to get his knee caught because you know the takedown's coming. Ooh. Good mixing there from both fighters. Into the last two minutes of this fight. Yeah, trying his luck with a sweep. Mortimer hunts him down for the striking. There's Steve Compton in the background. Screaming advice to Mortimer. Referee Thomas Farn steps in. Resets it. Our next fight also a bantamweight clash between Legowo from Indonesia and Joe from Korea. Don't go anywhere. There's some great bantamweight action coming up. Yao fighting for his life. China top team corner now screaming at him. This is your last chance. This is your last chance. You gotta make a move. Big haymakers from Yao. It's not working on, on Mortimer, who's got great, really tuned up his boxing for this fight, and it shows. Mortimer looks like he has a cut under his eye, I see, under his left eye. Oh, big knee. Last chance saloon here for Yao. He's got under a minute to turn the tide here. Look at Mortimer going with using the cross face defense. It's not working this time, though. Get that leg out, Michael. You hold him there. Yeah, I was exhausted. This is a good, gutsy, determined effort from Mick Mortimer. Underhook his body and push out, Mick. Push down, Mick. Push down. Push out, Push out, Mick. 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 Mortimer with great balance here. Yeah, he's really, really combated the experienced wrestler well today. He's got to be happy with this performance. Ten seconds. Looks like he has had one more defense than Yao could offer in the takedown stakes. Oh, and that's it. I'm, yeah. I'm calling this fight for Mortimer. Well, it would look that way, even though he's sporting a bit of blood on the cheek. A great fight from the Aussie there against Yao Honggang from China. And as we stand by and wait for the judges' decisions, it'll be an interesting one to see. Let's take a look at some of the replays as Yao spits out a bit of blood into the bucket. A real back and forth battle, full of great stuff. Big, big punches, big kicks. Great takedowns, reversals, it's got it all. Really exciting fight, both fighters finish exhausted. And here it is in the third round. Mortimer defending this single leg takedown. So we'll go through the winner, of course, in Legend Fighting Championship 5 for a shot at the title. It'll be an inaugural belt in the bantamweight division. So will it be Mick Mortimer's He's looking quietly confident. Seemed to have the upper hand. Yeah, with all his years of experience. Did he have enough in the wrestling stakes? Let's find out from our ring announcer, 
Vivek Mabubani. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. 经过三个回合之后，我哋以台下评判分数决定胜负。Judge Eric Butzenbad scores the contest 29-28. 评判 Eric Butzenbad 比二十九二十八分。Judge Henry Chan scores the contest 30-27. 评判 Henry Chan 比三十二十七分。Judge Yong Kao Wei scores the contest 29-28. 評判翁卡威俾二十九二十八分，以一致決定而勝出嘅係 ，for the winner by unanimous decision， 耶！哇！嗱，呢係一個意外，安德森。嗱，我必須同你對立，我認為。You know, Mortimer dropped Yao twice in the first round and bashed him in the second and third. Sure, sure he had some takedowns, but no, I disagree with this with this decision definitely. Anyway, it will be Yao that advances into the bantamweight championship in LFC 5.